So yeah, it's raining a little bit. Now I need to just tra take the files from a SD card and put them on the USB stick which after this USB stick goes to the iMac and I can dump those things out of there to there. cleaning up only the fenders is because I have one video coming up about the my new bicycle and that for these racing bicycles or road bicycles you cannot get fenders so I bought fenders that were not made for this and chop them up and zip tie them to the bike and now they are installed but once I got to editing I found out that holy moly I forgot to film one part and the part was walking from the stairs to their bottom can install the IKEA's lock shelf as you see it's scratched but I bought it used to get out the, this framing you need to bust out this couple of nuts screws but I think these are not coming out as easily as I hope oh that one is coming now I need to just get that one and then I can remove the frame. Hmm, question removal. Why somebody would paint over this frame? But yeah, I don't, I don't really care, but yeah, that will be hidden behind this shelf inside of there. But yeah, now I need to just install that to there. And then things will be good. I was saying the shelf was going about here. These three windows I was cleaning. I took that window out, turned it all the way and marked it where it was going to hit the wall. So I didn't want to... Originally wanted the shelf to be around here above the iMac so probably here so I could put the cactus to it as you guys can see the cactus is still there and the shelf isn't anywhere to be seen the shelf is now 
just a d desk extension. So all this like miscellaneous stuff that would otherwise be on the table is now on this shelf. So like the remote, some chargers, the RC car, a pen, some jets to carburetor, a battery, a phone, some paint and the drone. As you guys can see, this cell shelf is in really good use and now it's it lives down there. So now it lives there and there it will be living until I move out. That's the story of that shelf. So the moral of the shelf story that you cannot ever expect things to be in a certain places or to be put in certain places without enough knowledge, evidence, as in my case, this window opened up so far away that the shelf couldn't be possibly put here, or it would have been intervened with the window and if I needed the window to be cleaned, it would have been hard, like the window wouldn't open as far as it now opens without enough knowledge and evidence.